Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. So at Anova's facility, we run two separate diagnostic tools to a speed test. So I want you guys to check out these next clips and then we'll review it. So of course, I'm going to try out the 5610 and I'm also going to try out a different off-brand tablet. Let's see which one could diagnose the issue faster. So first things first, I gotta go on accessory mode. And now we have both of these hooked up at the same time. And let's see, I think I have to turn this one on. Oh, wow, I do. Okay, so this one has to actually turn on separately. And of course the 5610 is already on, ready to go. Let's see, which is gonna get me a code faster. Um, Oh, I have to unlock this tablet? Okay, let's see. And, uh... uh okay, guys, well, I have not used this tablet before, but it seems like I actually have to go and find uh, the diagnosis page. Okay, we're there now, and now I have to load it up. And now it's beeping at me. Let's see. The 5610 versus the off-brand tablet, of course the Nova one. So it took about six different load pages before finally getting to the last page that I needed to view and still wait like an additional like probably 15 seconds for it to pull up the code that I needed to see from the RDX. So the thing is, and also keep in mind guys, that in Nova 5610 as well as the other diagnostic tools that they offer, they were a collaboration design with ASC, Master Techs, and Mechanics. And you know, they've even got an input from like many others in the industry to highlight key main features that these type of diagnostic tools that Innova offers should have and should be prioritized. And one of the things that is prioritized is the speed, 100%. Take it from people that just, you know, have this code that pops up on their car and they need to go to a shop and they just ask, you know, hey guys, like, can you guys check this code for me? Sometimes these people, you know, they're anxious. They don't want to wait. Or sometimes the mechanic shop will not check their car because of the fact that they know that their tablet's going to take like a really long time. And it's not like a very quick thing where they could just like plug it in and know the code. Besides that, take it from people like me that work at a loop shop and can only have a vehicle inside the bay for like, you know, no more than 10, 15 minutes. And the customer comes in and states also, hey, you know, I have a code that also popped up besides like doing their oil change or whatever they're doing. But it's that amount of time that we have for the car to get it in and out. So as well, we also prioritize the time and then the customer also does not want to stay in there much longer than that. We've had customers tell us like, oh, if it takes too long, it's OK, I'll go somewhere else or I'll take care of it another day. So. That's just the thing. One of the highlight features is definitely the time. Besides that, do not get fooled with the size of the scanner. Sometimes people think that because the scanner comes a lot smaller, it's going to pull up a code much faster. Don't get fooled by that. And actually down below, I'll leave the link to the first timed speed test. And it was actually a comparison between the 5610 and another off-brand uh, diagnostic tool. And, you know, it's a very extensive review of a comparison between like time and different features, right? So I want you guys to watch that as well. But yeah, do not get fooled with the size because even if it's like a bigger tablet, it's still going to take a very long time. Even if it's like a small little diagnostic tool, it's still going to take a long time. It's just, that's just the way the company designed it. And if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them down below. Stay tuned for more and I will keep you guys updated on the Supra. Take care. Bye.